all right guys on today's video we are on the playstation classic uh today i'm going to be sharing uh the new auto bleam version 1.0.1 uh kernel uh so this is the uh most recent release i'm going to be leaving you a link to my page in the uh, pinned comment where you're going to get the uh, download folder. So just scroll down on my page until you find the wallpaper for AutoBleam. Um, so there's the download link. Um, it's going to come in a zip format. So you're going to have to unzip it using WinRAR or 7-Zip. Um, you can use any size of uh, USB stick. Um, I recommend uh, 120 gigabytes or even a 256 gigabyte um, SanDisk model uh, 2.0. Uh, that seems to be working the best. Uh, so you're going to have to format your USB stick to FAT32. And then you're going to have to rename it in all capital letters, Sony. Uh, make sure you do that, or else the system will not read the USB. So I'm going to be showing you all the files from the download folder. So here's all the files. Under games, this is where you're going to put your PlayStation 1 games in bin and queue. Just like that. This is going to have RetroArch. It's going to have way more cores. As you can see, 174 cores. So this basically has every system. And then as for ROMs, for the uh, Retro Arch, you're going to have a ROMs folder uh, with 66 systems. So you're going to have to put your ROMs in the uh, corresponding folder of whatever system you want to do. Um, today I'm, gonna, I'm only going to be showing you three systems. NES, SNES, and Sega Genesis. Uh, so you just put the games in the folder and they're right there. So that's basically it for the setup of the USB stick. Now we're going to get on the PlayStation Classic. And I'll show you how to set it up in a little bit of gameplay. Alright, now over on the PlayStation Classic. Um, you're going to put your USB stick into controller port 2. Uh, power on your system. It's going to flash amber and green lights, which is fine. That's what it's supposed to do. It should load you straight into Auto Bleam. So there you go. This is Auto Bleam. So the first thing you're going to do, uh, press select. This will bring up the um, options menu. Uh, you can change the Auto Bleam theme if you have themes. Uh, you can change the background music or you can shut off the sound um, there's a widescreen option and then all kinds of other options so just go through it now let's go back if you press start this will bring up the playstation 1 games so if you added on some games uh, they're going to show up on this screen so press start so this is all your games for PlayStation. So this is the one I added. So all you got to do to load it is press X. Now I press select. Uh, this will bring up the retro arch. You'll press play. It'll bring up your apps. If you hit select, so this will have all your apps. Um, the one we're going 
we're going to be focusing on is the retro arch. So let's open that up. Press X. Press X again. Now the UI of this retro arch is a little bit uh, different. Um, so first thing you're going to do is load content. Go to start directory. And then find whatever system you want to play. So the first one, we're going to do uh, Sega Genesis. Press X. And then there's the two games that I have. So I'll just start one up quickly. So this is uh, The Simpsons Bart's Nightmare. Press X. And then you're going to pick your core. So uh, Genesis plus GX is the best one. But I, all of them should work. So press X and it should load right up. There you go. Now to go back, uh, you press select and start at the same time. You're going to go to close content. Now load content. Start directory. Now we're going to load up uh, NES game. So find the NES folder. And there you go, Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. So just press X. And then pick your core. All of them should work. And there you go, it starts right up. Now select and start again. Close content. Um, load content. Start directory. Now we're going to pick a Super Nintendo game. So go down to your SNES folder. There's a SNES folder, press X, NBA Jam, pick your core, and there you go. All games work uh, smoothly, there's no issues. Um, so now let's go back, close content. I'll just go through um, all the systems. That this is going to support so 3do all the ataris arcade jaguar atari lynx glycovision dreamcast some of them work some of them don't fba game gear all the game boys genesis mame master system msu msx n64 some games work, some don't. Naomi, um, Nintendo DS games, Neo Geo, Neo Geo D, uh, CD, NES, Odyssey, PC Engine, PC Engine CD, PSP, uh, Saturn doesn't work very well, uh, Sega 32X, Sega CD, SG-1000, Super Nintendo, Uh, TurboGrafx-16, Virtual Boy, Wonder Swan, and stuff like that. So this is the latest version. I like the UI a lot better. And then once you scan your directory, um, when you scan your directory, you're going to have um, the icons of whatever system you're using. They're, they're going to show up in each box. And then you just scroll down on the, on the games and you'll be able to select them that way. I'm not going to do that, but that's an option. Uh, so I'm going to be leaving you the link to my page uh, in the pinned comment where you can get the download files from. I should be making uh, a few more videos on the, on the Sony uh, Classic. Uh, if you want to go through my uh, playlist, I have four or five videos on this already. I hope you enjoy the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.